Welcome back, everybody. Beaverworks Race Shop. Hopefully building an entry for the uh, DSPN circuit this year over the uh, seven tracks. And so here I've got the, uh, I'm calling the uh, Chip Paint GT because it's got chip paint. Look at that. It's the crummiest paint job ever. But it is officially our first full body paint job here at the shop. So we're going to go with it. Now, the trick is, is that somehow I've got to bring this guy to 50 grams. Now, I've already taken the liberty of pulling those axles and doing a polish on the wheels, as well as doing the paint job. And they're performing very well. I haven't put the dry lube on them yet, but that's coming. But now, i got to get to 50 grams. So, this thing... Plus this slug, plus this slug, equals 50 grams. So, I have to get this stuff in there. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Alright. Alright, so here's the game plan. I said, already did a polish on these axles, so I shaved those little nubs out, and the axles just kind of pop right out right here. I love doing that. Such a good spin. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you want. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this whole middle section out with the Dremel and go from the inside here. Take a nice big square out of here because it sits pretty low as it is. I can't get my weight underneath it. So what I'm going to do is make my weight the floor. I took it, pounded it all flat, just with a hammer and a vise. I kind of put it up on top of it and just hammer on it until it's flat. And then I'm just going to hack it into strips and put it in there. And that'll be the floor piece. And then I'm going to take my Dremel and dig out this front section right here, just ahead of the rivet hole. And that's the front, forward the axle, low as possible. And I'm going to fill that full of lead. That'll be this other chunk up here. And just pinch it off with some side cutters and put it in there. And try and get some in on the back as well. All right, let's start cutting this baby open. Give me an update of what's going on here. So, what I've done is hacked out a nice big square and Filled that with a couple of slabs right there. I hacked a big section out of the front and the back and absolutely crammed that full. Those are like uh, slabs of such. Right? And I just started cramming cramming them in there. Now I haven't set I haven't set these ones in with the epoxy. These guys are set in flush with the bottom I'm not sure what the grand total is yet when I get the uh, front chunks in we'll get a grand total that's a update so far I hollowed it all out with the Dremel same with back here wherever there was space I took the pegs right out 
I took them out on the body too. Because uh, I'm not going to reuse those. I'm just going to glue it down on the insides. Alright, there's a wreck. How's it going, guys? Alright. Out of those big three slugs, big two slugs of lead. That's all that's left so far. The rest is inside. See what I did there, eh? Haul it out the front. Want to favor the weight in front a little bit for fat track to help that front end down. So I've got three slabs in the front, two slabs just behind the rear axle, and then that whole middle section underneath shaved out, flatten it down enough that I could get those other plates that I hammered down right in the bottom. And that, I still got to do just a little bit of tweaking. The interior and the body. I can get the front end down just a little bit, close that gap up. But then, uh, I should be able to find a couple of few other corners to put some of those slivers back in there. I guarantee you we got that up to at least 40, 45, 47 grams. We'll put it on the scale afterwards. But the time she's done, full 47 grams with a full interior. Still. And fast as heck, we hope. All right. All right, I changed the paint. This is the finished product. We've had her down the track for some testing. That vid will be up soon. But just to give you an overall on how this worked out. Turn this little bad boy on. Look at that. 48, the lights on this thing is stupid, 48.2 grams, and painted up in tribute to the EVH Bumblebee. Currently resting with Mr. DD. All right, so there it is. Hope you enjoyed. All right.